Welcome to a bonus episode on Max 101. Well, yesterday, in yesterday's video, I talked about how the announcements work, how the announcement panel works, and everything about the announcements themselves. Now I'm going to tell you about who records them, who are the voices that you hear on the trains. I bet you never realized this without really thinking about it, but there are in fact four people who record announcements for the trains. The most common voice you're going to hear is Jody Lorimer. She records most of the announcements. Every single stop name she has recorded. The doors to my left, doors to my right, or doors to my left and right is recorded. She'll tell you to always use crosswalks. She'll tell you to transfer to Portland Streetcar. She'll tell you that you can transfer to green and red line trains or to transfer to yellow line trains, whatever. There's a lot. The majority of the announcements are recorded by her. Here's a sample. The doors are closing. Train departing. Please hold on. In the priority seating area, you are required to move for seniors and people with disabilities. She's actually been active for quite a while. She was a, she's a book author as well, and I, I will post a trailer for one of her books in the description where you can hear her. She's the one explaining um, what her book is about, and you can tell that it's her. The next guy we're going to talk about is a guy, the Spanish voice that you hear most often on the trains. These are done by Enrique Andrade. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Now these give you the translation for doors to my right, doors to my left, always use crosswalks and all that kind of stuff. Those give you all that. Here's a sample of that. Línea azul al centro de Portland, Iglesia. Puertas a mi izquierda. Now here's something I'm willing to bet absolutely this many people have noticed about the announcements. Now, there's, a, there's something that's been re-recorded over time. It says, always use crosswalks and look both ways when crossing tracks, right? That's the English announcement. But in the Spanish one, it starts with por favor. So it's please use crosswalks and look both ways. Okay, and here's what that sounds like. Doors to my right. Always use crosswalks and look both ways when crossing tracks. Puertas a mi derecha. Por favor, use siempre los cruces peatonales y mire hacia ambos lados antes de cruzar las vías. But there are exactly this many stations on the alignment where that announcement is different. It's on the yellow line at Rosa Parks and Lombard Transit Center. Now the English announcement still tells you to always use crosswalks and whatever, but the Spanish announcement just goes absolutely insane. Take a listen. Both ways when crossing tracks. Puertas a mi derecha. Para su seguridad, cruce solo por el área designada para el paso de peatones. Now if you're like me and like a lot of us, and I'm out here in Hillsboro and whatever, so the blue line is the way to go, really. So it's kind of the only thing I took. But if you take the green or yellow line trains, you might also hear a male voice announcing that it's a green line to Clackamas Town Center or a yellow line train to Expo Center. Line 9 bus just passed. This is a green line train to Clackamas Town Center. Looks like they changed this train. Yeah, 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 Clackamas Town Center. Now there's quite an interesting story as to why Bill was the one recording these announcements. Well, they were in fact originally recorded by Jody Lorimer. There's a couple videos that prove that. Um, the, when the green line's opening ceremony, you can kind of tell. Um, but. Yeah, so they were originally recorded by Jody, but there's a place called the Ambassador Apartments off of Southwest 6th Avenue, which is where the Max runs, and they complained that Jody's voice was too loud. They're right across from the Southwest 6th and Madison platform, and so they're going to be hearing it all day and all night for green and yellow line trains. So the solution they came up with was to have a male voice do it because it was perceived as quieter, and the complaint was no more, 
they were satisfied by it and there hasn't been a problem since. If you've been riding Max for a while and can think to before around 2010, you might remember that some station names, which I'll move out of the way here in just a second for those station names, some station names were only recorded by Bill Stevens. An example of this was Milliken, because Milliken, any station name that told you more than just the stop name, doors to my right, and then the Spanish translation, if it had any more than that, then Bill Stevens did it because he talks a little faster and it made the whole process a little bit shorter. And so, I'm going to move out of the way again. And here's a station, here's a list of station names that were originally recorded by Bill Stevens, and these were also recorded, re-recorded by Jody Lorimer much later. Um, so there's really no evidence of this anymore, but there are a couple of videos on YouTube, if you hunt for them, where you'll find the old announcements. I'll provide a link in the description to one of them. So I'm going to link this video in the description if you want to watch it. This is at Beaverton Creek, and you'll hear the normal announcements. That's fine, right? But at Millican Way, there's a little bit more that they say because they tell you to... It used to be different. It used to just be, please use caution when crossing tracks instead of all that it says now. But nowadays, it... Yeah, it, it's not like this anymore, but here's how it used to be. And it used to be like that throughout several stations, but they don't really do it like that anymore, and they haven't for a long time. If you'd like to hear more of Bill Stevens, I'll provide a link in the description to some samples from commercials and other things that he's done. He's actually been quite active for radio companies and recording radio commercials. You've probably heard his voice many times and didn't even realize it. Now there is a fourth voice as well. It's a female Spanish voice, but it's very rare. There's not that many instances I've heard. I've only heard it on two instances, and they've both been very recent. Back on March 1st this year, the Kings Hill Mall Southwest 4th Avenue, or going the other way, Mall Southwest 5th Avenue stations, all three of those closed. And be right before they were closing, there was a special recorded announcement that would say, this station will be closed starting March 1st. And then it followed it up by a Spanish translation, but it was a female Spanish voice. I think I have a good video of that, so if I do, I'll play that now. Attention riders, this stop will be closed starting March 1st. Atención pasajeros, esta parada estará cerrada a partir del primero de marzo. The other instance was the whole COVID-19 situation. We went out, which I know we weren't supposed to, but I swear to you it was just this once. We went out to the nature park in Beaverton at the Merlot Road Max station. We went from Hillsboro to Merlot. Very short trip, so it, it doesn't really, yeah. Anyways, after most stations, it will have this special announcement that was recorded that tells you to please wear a face covering and to keep a distance of six feet from others, and so on and so on. I'm going to show that to you now. Welcome aboard. At this time, we encourage you to only buy transit for essential trips. Please wear a face covering and keep a distance of at least six feet from others. Thank you. Bienvenido a bordo. En este momento, le pedimos que solo use transporte público para viajes esenciales. Por favor, use una cubierta para la cara y mantenga una distancia de al menos seis pies de los demás. Gracias. I'm not really sure why I'm so interested in the announcements and whatever. Out of all things of the trains, it wouldn't seem to be the thing I'm interested in this much, but um, if, you, if you wanted to know, this is kind of a fun fact, if you want to know the single, mo the single station that has the most amount of announcements coming in to the station, it's the Rose Quarter. Hi. Yeah. 
stabilizing the background. When you leave Convention Center, the Convention Center and Rose Quarter platforms are pretty close together. So the moment you leave Convention, that was a weak snap. <laughs> The moment you leave Convention Center, it starts saying the announcements for Rose Quarter. Very strange. Longest bonus video ever. <laughs> All right, well, that is going to be it, I think. Um, if there's more to announcements, then yeah, there probably is. There's a lot of old history on announcements. Stuff like Fairless Square that's not used anymore, where you didn't have to have a fair between the... It was known as PGE Park at the time, now Providence Park, and the Lloyd Center. You didn't need a fair between anywhere in there, so there were special announcements for that, and this whole stuff I've already told you about already. This video keeps dragging on and on just for announcements. Stay tuned, because in a few days I'll have a new episode for you, and I will see you then.